then my father being a meditator you'd be surprised my father is 82 years old and he meditates for 8 hours a day wow even now and he's the fittest person i've ever seen in the world so father used to actually do a form of meditation he is actually a vipassana teacher so i went and did a vipassana course vipassana is where you have to follow a silence for 10 days 10 days wow. but he does it for 45 days wow <laughs> crazy <laughs> but it's not easy so uh, so i have tried that path then actually i have what, can can we actually talk about that vipassana absolutely so what had happened to you at the end of like can you describe your vipassana experience sure, like sure. what happens sure so again i was introduced to either chinmaya mission or even vipassana by my father hmm. so what happened is that since papa used to actually meditate uh, and he still continues so he casually told me that you know why also do why don't you do one thing so the curiosity was there the best part about getting into spirituality for me was that and I, i was never forced into spirituality hmm. so he just took me casually to chinmaya mission i became a member so he said you know you want to do it do it so he never told you know you have to do it So as a young boy, I said, okay. So let me try. So vipassana is a form of meditation taught by Buddha, hmm. and it said that basically lot of the secrets of ours were stored in the purest form outside India. As in, as in, so for example, the people who now practice vipassana meditation are actually most of them followers of Goenka Ji. Who is Goenka Ji? He was a person who actually lived in Burma, an Indian settled in Burma, and once he had a migraine problem. Now think about it. Uh, Goenka ji had a migraine problem, and somebody told him, "You know, there is some vipassana meditation in Burma." Okay, so there was this Buddhist teacher who actually told him, "You know, I will teach you something which actually comes from your country. It's called vipassana." He said, "What's vipassana? You know, I never heard about. It. I'm only concerned about one thing. My migraine should go." Hmm. So he taught him, and interestingly, he realized that the migraine is anyway gone as a byproduct. But there is a secret that not many Indians know about it. Hmm. So he came back to India and he started. you're telling people you know so what is uh, vipassana meditation it starts with basic steps of you know watching your breath mm. so you know watch your breath and it's not very easy because you will watch your breath in two three cycles then your mind will go then mm. bring it back bring it back slowly slowly the practice is that you have to do it for 10 days mm. and you can't do it alone by the way it's very important that meditation also requires somebody to guide you in the process because you can go bonkers and you may think that you are going in the right direction any kind of meditation or just vipassana i think any definitely types of meditation should have a guru or coach so even if you are yeah. going into the gym you require a coach yeah. because you yeah. may just spoil your muscle and yeah. you may think you're doing you need to pull it up no yeah. actually you may be tearing your uh, muscles yeah. beyond yeah. a point so i think it's important yeah. it it makes that initial process fast also i feel and you progress. don't do the mistakes which probably others do mm. so you reach your goals faster yeah. because you're actually you're talking about chanakya concept here <laughs> it's called vriddha sanyoga okay. being an associated with a person vriddha a wise and experienced person who has walked the path before you mm. so interestingly what happened is that uh, when i did meditation so i, I came to know that goenka ji actually got trained under a guru he came back to india and taught, uh, started teaching mm. uh, this form of meditation and today vipassana meditation is a Across the globe, there are a lot of centers in Igad Puri in Bombay. Igad Puri is in Maharashtra. They have a full-fledged center uh, in Bombay. We have SL World. It's a theme park. Just next to that, there is a uh, Buddhist pagoda yeah, where the ten yeah. thousand people can meditate together, oh, wow. and it's a worldwide movement. Crazy. So the basic, I think, all of us uh, who are interested in knowing Vipassana should attend a course of ten days. Yeah. and the best part is that absolutely free of cost yeah. they don't charge you so what happens at the end of the course like ne- ha so i think uh, one of my uh, very uh, dear students and colleague in my office pranav patel he just went to vipassana camp and came back and the first thing i thought is calm quiet <laughs> i said okay let us do business together now <laughs> wow so, so the idea is basically after 10 days you start realizing that actually you can be a normal person without speaking to anyone okay God. And you know, somewhere we, and especially you know, till we don't speak it out, you know, we don't feel comfortable. Of course, human beings have to speak out. But the thing is that you can go within. So all the energy that is used to go outside is now getting used to go inside. And used for what? In fact, um, I think it's like having a very sharp knife. Knife. Hmm. Okay. Got so it. now, if I were to ask you that, use for what? It depends on you. Hmm. So if you're a surgeon, you'll use the same sharp knife. to save somebody's life so basically if you waste a lot of your energy talking and thinking outwards and doing things outwards you're blunting your knife is that like what you're saying absolutely so you're using it and so anything it's very important coming back to the basic question of meditation 